building uniframes is a pretty niche thing nowadays, seeing as they haven't released any new uniframes in quite a while. And they're honestly not a high priority, especially for newer players. However, if you do find yourself pulling a uniframe, you'll notice that building them is almost like building a leap character from scratch, as they have a whole subsection where you'll see they have unique skills that are special to uniframes themselves. These are your special dodge counters and execution moves. If you don't level these, you're honestly losing out on what makes a uniframe a uniframe. These special skills are what deplete the orange shield bars on enemies that have them, otherwise known as uniframe enemies. However, they're also especially expensive. Uniframes cost much more to build than normal Omniframes. So let's talk about exactly how many resources you'll need to level up your Uniframes and what goes into it. Before we get into that, if you need help figuring out how many resources you need to max out a character for their level, memories, memory resonance, and hypertune and skills, then I have a whole guide already made for that specific purpose that I'll go ahead and link into the pinned comment and description down below. Just know that it also applies to Uniframes just not the uniframe skills themselves. So uniframe characters have two different special attacks, and three passives that are activated afterwards. All of these are important, so there is no priority list. Just max the two out and unlock the passives. So firstly, you'll have your speed attack, or as I like to call it, your dodge counter. This is triggered when you press and hold dodge when a uniframe enemy glows blue. The second ability is the execution skill. This ability is triggered when the orange gauge on uniframe enemies have completely depleted. After it is gone, you'll press basic attack and the character will perform the execution skill. Finally, you have three passives that you need to unlock as well. These passives enhance the dodge counter and execution moves. So how much does this all cost? You're going to need 2,025 uniframe single crystals. These you can get from the Warzone shop and voucher shop. You'll then need to exchange these for character specific uniframe crystals of which you will need 135 character specific uniframe crystals to max a uniframe unique skill. You can exchange for these in the exchange shop. After that you will need 645 aura chips which can be bought for the supply shop in the material event. Finally you will need 280 skill points and 3,860,000 cogs. Overall, you'll be kind of treating this like leaping a character, however, unlike leaps, these uniframe skills are essential to making them perform the way they're intended on working. So with that everyone, if you liked the video and it helped you a lot, please consider dropping a like and hitting the subscribe button. Try not to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year, so every sub helps. I have a discord where we talk all kinds of nonsense, including PGR and Weathering Waves, and the community over there is more than willing to help new players. I stream most days over at twitch.tv forward slash mimicsouls. With that, everyone, have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next video.